So now I'm going to teach you a few shortcuts. So the first shortcut is spacebar. So if I click spacebar, that will start the timeline. And if I press it again, that will stop the timeline. And another essential shortcut is the return or enter button. That will take you to the start of your timeline. So now I'm going to teach you how to remove noise from your audio clip. So to do that, you can just listen back to the audio to see how much noise needs to be removed. Welcome to this podcast. I'm going to teach you how to use GarageBand so that you can make your own podcast. So if you notice, there's a bit of a hum before and after the speaking. So what you want to do is you want to click this noise gate on. So what this will do is this will remove some of that background noise for you. One thing to note, the shortcut to turn the bar on and off is just the letter B. So press B to turn it on and turn it off. So if it's not turned on on your computer, just remember to press B. So in order to adjust the settings, you can increase or decrease the amount of noise that you're going to remove from the audio. So we'll just play it back as normal and see what we can do. So there's a bit of a hum before the audio, so I'm just going to turn it up a bit and see what difference that makes. Welcome to this podcast. I'm going to teach you how to use GarageBand so that you can make your own podcast. Okay, so that's removed a lot of the noise. However, it's also cut off the start and end of some of the sentences. So I'm just going to re reduce it a little bit and see what the difference is. And I'm going to press return to go to the start. Welcome to this podcast. I'm going to teach you how to use GarageBand so that you can make your own podcast. So I'm just going to leave the noise gate at minus 40 decibels and that's quite good for the audio. It's not removing anything from the audio and just keep an eye on it. Um, you always want to play back the audio when you do remove noise to make sure that you're not removing too much. So that's how you remove noise in GarageBand. And you want to remove noise on everything that you record to make sure that the audio is crisp and clear.